When I turn the AC on, the two electric cooling fans should turn on. This one had the truck has two of them. So in this case, the one on the left side doesn't turn on. It's only the one on the right side, on the passenger side that turns on. The one that I'm on right now is not turning on. The good thing is that I have the Nova 5610 scanner. I can control the two of those, of those fans and confirm which one is not working. Right now the key is on. I want to do an active test to go to active. Then um, I'm going to go to powertrain. From ECM engine control module, I'm going to go to cooling fan. That's the first option I got. So I can control the cooling fans with key on, engine off. I'm going to give it 20% duty cycle. Select 20%. Right now, I can hear my fans. This fan right here is not working. So I'm gonna give it a command again, and I'm gonna go on the other side. So right now, I'm on the fan that's working. I'm going to give it about 20% duty cycle again, just to activate the fan, and you'll notice this fan works. Yep, I activated that fan with the scanner. So this tells me right now that I have an issue in the circuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and see, check the relays in the fuse box. Uh, I mean the the fuses in the fuse box, and see what kind of fuses we have. If we have a, a fuse separate fuses for them or separate relays for them. Right now I have the fuse box open and. The two fuses down 123 and 116. Um, one is left side and the other one is right side. So I don't know which one exactly, but I'm just gonna check them to see if they if these fuses are fine. But 123 and 116, there are the one is for left and the other one is for right side cooling fan. So let's take a look and see if these fuses are good. Okay, these are the fuses right now. That's a shot of them inside the fuse box. Um, there are 40 amp fuses, uh, these, are, these are big fuses, so these fuses as you can see, they look fine to me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to go in there, check if there is power and ground going to that right side fan, I mean left side fan, that's not working. Um, if, it's, if it's got power and ground, then our problem is, is the cooling fan itself, it will need to be replaced. This is a shot of the left side fan connector the big gauge wires uh, we got the red and red and white this is power and the black wire is ground so I'm gonna take I'm gonna back probe them get power and ground directly from them and activate those cooling fans and if I got power and ground the fan doesn't work then I know I have a bad fan okay right now I have the key on and I have my voltmeter um, the, the wires are back probed and I have my voltmeter set in volt DC it's connected to them and I'm going to try to activate the cooling fan to see if it's going to work what I'm looking for is 12 volt going reaching that cooling fan and if I have 12 volt reaching it and it doesn't work then I know the issue is not in the circuit it, it is a problem with the cooling fan itself so that cooling fan will have to be replaced so we're going to activate the cooling fan using the bi-directional function of the innova scanner it's linking with the control unit and we're going to try to activate it so this time i'm going to see if i can give it a 40 percent duty cycle once i give it a 40 percent duty cycle it's going to activate that circuit I got 12 volt right here and that tells me that the circuit is fine and the issue is in the cooling fan itself so I'm gonna hit exit having bad connection exit so yes the issue is confirmed the problem is in the cooling fan itself and I will replace that cooling fan so this is good diagnostic and this function test with the Innova scanner is very important.
that I can activate this cooling fan using the scanner without having to do anything else. So this is it.